Yeah. yeah, the new setup is kind of neat. There we go. I got it. That's amazing. Master streamer. I am the master streamer of all. No, you're very good at at what do they call it? Screen uh ge screen geography. Uh not geography. Scre screen placement? Well yeah, yeah I I'm sorry. I'm really slow today. I'm trying to be better. Screen real estate. That's the word I was looking for. Screen real estate. You know how to shrink a window down that you can use every bit of it, but it's small enough and you can maximize your screen usage. Correct. You're good at that. Thank you. Yeah. See, I could do this too. You see this? Yeah. And I could do a window projector and then put that right there. Mm hmm So yeah. we can see ourselves, you see? Yeah, that's cool. So when I change this to Rev and Shanny. Okay, put that back on. Boom. Yeah. See? Ain't that fucking cool? Yeah, that is cool. That's real cool. We can even do it. We could even make it bigger, too. Watch this. What? Yeah, man. That's beautiful looking. Awesome. See? We're looking at Ordinary Sausage here. If you haven't seen him, you should watch him. He's a great freaking dude. He's awesome. Got my kids all settled. Gonna smoke a nice... All right. Two or two. Make it two. Make it two. And clean up while y'all keep me company. Hope you guys are having a chill weekend. We are having a chill weekend. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're trying to figure out what to do for dinner right now. I wish someone would buy me a pizza, but I don't think that's going to happen. That's okay. <laughs> Shanny would like a pizza. <sighs> Dude, go to Scranton Pizzeria and get a nice freaking calzone for $10. There you, there you yeah. go. Yeah, their prices are good, man. Oh, I love their calzones. You don't find shit like that for under 17 bucks. Nah, man. It's great. It's great in Pizzeria. They're they're awesome. Shout it out, man. Yeah, they're great. It's good food. Really tasty. You just got home from church? Praise Jesus. Amen. How was church? What the pastor teach this Sunday? Yeah, what was the sermon on? Hi, sweetness. How are you, darling? But we're going to look at this steak boiled in margarita. I, I, when I was a drinker, one of my favorite things to have would be a margarita on the rocks. Oh, yeah. Not that crap blended. That, that, that icy, alcoholic icy. No, absolutely not. That's no. not a margarita. No. It's not. That's no a margarita that's is an adult slushy. No, mar a proper ma margarita is some like sweet and sour uh -huh. and and some corico and some and some and 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 some tequila uh -huh. and 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 on the rocks, baby. That's right. With 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 with, with a salted coarse, rim, coarse salt. Yeah, yeah. Not table salt. That's Jesus correct. Christ. Coarse salt on the rim. That's right. And it's absolutely, I think it's my favorite drink to have. I remember going to a Mexican restaurant alone, right? Don't ever go to a restaurant alone, oh, folks. Bless her. She was in the children's church, church and she was teaching about Jesus being the good shepherd. <clears throat> oh my, you're blessed. You're blessed for doing that. My grandma used to do that Sunday school. You saw her notes. Yes. She took it seriously. She did. <laughs> Very seriously, yeah. She loved the Lord. She loved Jesus. That's Peter. so cute. Yeah, that's beautiful. You're doing God's work. Amen. Teaching the little ones. Taking care of the little ones for the church. Yes. I love that. Me, I'm more of a scholar. I don't do the children watching thing. I want to I wanna be in talking about Jesus, man. Female pastor. Yeah. You want to be female Dude, pastor. you're smoking something called horchata? Oh, God, horchata. Rum? 
Rumchata. Or Rumchata. Well, Horchata is is based from Rumchata. It's Horchata. Horchata. It's like this cinnamon milky drink. I think it has oatmeal oh, in it. Yeah, I've heard of it. Okay. It's so good. Okay. I've had it at a Brazilian uh, steakhouse when my sister, uh, right before my sister took her vows. Mm. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Horchata's delicious. Yeah, I've heard. I've definitely heard of that. Mm -mm -mm. Rum chata's delicious. Rum chata is very delicious. Rum chata is very yummy. Ooh, better. Much better. Yeah. It's popular in Latin America. Yes, it is. It's delicious. Ba, 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 ba. Trust me, I know what horchata is. That's why I got it. <laughs> the weed quality equally as fire. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. I would have gotten it. Is it? Okay. Huh? I got to look up this strain, man. Yeah, check it out. Definitely. I bet it has some uh, jack in it. Jack hair. Jack hair? I bet it has some jack hair. It's got jack hair and it's a win. Or it's got some of um, Alcapulco gold. Gold. You know? Let me see. Oh, look at that. You bet I'm freaking that, Leafly. Did you know okay. that you lied about going to therapy? Shani, why did you lie to me about going to therapy? I thought I did go to therapy. <laughs> I have, actually, speaking of which, <laughs> after I got done with my therapy, <clears throat> I have to do something. I have homework to do this week yeah, you got some before my next therapy session. I have to think about the most traumatic event I want to go through right now. And I can't figure out if it's my parents, if it's my RPs. Or if it's my divorce with Chris, that's the most traumatic in my life. I have to make that decision. What you told me from what happened with that one incident in your life, I don't... Well, let's not talk about it right no, now. I wasn't going to say a word about it. Could I finish Let's go my... look into what horchata is. I think we'll do that. Okay, I can't finish my sentence. I just don't want to talk about it. absolutely nothing wrong with what I was All right, say. so anyway. Wow. Horchata is a balanced hybrid strain made by cross and jet fuel gelato gelato's amazing with mochi gelato they're both gelatos so i let me let me look at these real quick the the jet fuel gelato is high octane and jet fuel but what is jet fuel down to it's a kush okay jet fuel's a kush high octane is a sherbet okay God, you got to look at all the freaking babies of these things, man. Oh. Mochi gelato. It doesn't say what it's made with. Wow. But okay. Anyway, let's skip that. The effects of forchata are common than energizing. Consumers have smoked the strain. Tell us it's smooth smoke that tastes earthly, floral, and woody. Horchata effects are uplifting and relaxing. Some consumers say the strain makes them extra talkative. Uh, patients choose horchata to relieve symptoms associated with PTSD and depression. Oh, that'd be good for us. The dominant terpene in this strain is Mike Serene with pinene and osamine as the secondary terpenes. Horchata is 19% THC. All right. The feelings are relaxed, talkative, and focused. The negatives are dry mouth, dry eyes. Horchata strain flavors, vanilla, coffee, and earthly. It's 26% say it helps with their anxiety. 25% says it, per, uh, percent says it helps with their stress. 11% says it, or 25% says it helps with their depression. 11% says it helps them with their stress. Nothing for pain, so that's not exactly the best thing I could have. Oh, my psychiatry referral list she just gave me. Good. Yay. I'm going to get on some psych meds, too. 
Yay. <clears throat> anyway. I don't starve, Rev. He was literally eaten in the last stream. What are yeah, you talking I about? I was. Go away. Stop trying to start. Stop trying to cause problems with people, man. And don't tell Rev to be free. He's my slave. Yeah, she told me maybe write them down, but not have any feelings or emotions attached to what I'm writing down. Like, that's like, what? Shani, when you actually start to write down all your traumas, you may actually realize a whole bunch more that you've blocked. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. No, I, 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 my mods aren't here. They're busy living their life, and I don't blame them. So anyway, <clears throat> they're just coming in just to be annoying. Let's see if a steak, what happens if you boil a steak in margarita. I think it's going to taste Fight good. ordinary sausage. Continuing with our boiling steak and things adventures, we're, we're going to do boiling steak and... In, in classic margarita mix. Mix. Wait, it's just the mix? Not even the tequila That's added to be it? Horrible. Oh, it's just gonna be sweet Heartburn. nastiness. Sweet heartburn. Oh god, it's gonna destroy it's gonna cook the freaking meat. It's gonna be come out all white and stuff. Yeah, it's gonna not be good. It's gonna be gross. Really gross. Yeah. How can you write your traumas without having feelings? They're traumas. It's like literally writing down the facts of what happened, and that's it. Like a journalist here. Yeah. The booze burns off. Yeah, but tequila has a beautiful taste that burns off. Yeah. Or that that stays in. Like, the, the it's not really margarita because you would need the freaking tequila within it's it. It's not margarita at all. No, because the tequila has a certain taste to it that heightens that margarita. Well, I was stuff. thinking this was going to be awesome because I thought he was going to cook it in an actual margarita. That would be yummy. Yeah, right? This is going to be disgusting. It's, it's just going to be, be extra heartburn. sweet. Yeah. Gross. Why ruin a steak? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's ruining a steak. He is. Hi, Samantha. How are you? It gets infused in this food. The tequila taste, yeah. Yeah. It's like rum raisins, for instance. Yeah. Infusion of the taste of rum. We're making a um, bourbon, a bourbon caramel sauce. No, my mom used to get what? in Virginia. Huh. Actual, real Baba rum cakes. Oh, yeah. From New York City? The real ones. Oh, my God. We got to go to New York City and actually get a Baba Ram cake. They're so... Or someone can send it to us. Oh. 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 They're really good. With whipped cream. I don't think that a lot of people know what exactly what trauma is exactly. No, hey, just saying. No, they don't understand CPTSD or PTSD or anything that involves trauma. Said Shani to jail. What crime have I committed? God. You gotta go put someone in jail for a crime. What crime have I committed? I committed no crime. Yeah. No. Absolutely not. And no, I'm not, Bridget. I'm medicated. Oh, heck, let's, let's I got a nice thing like of gabapentin. Oh, he's putting tequila in. Oh, he is putting tequila he's in. Put Jose Cuervo sure. in. He did it properly. He put some Jose Cuervo tequila in. He did it right. Yeah. All right. This it might, might be good. It might be good. All right, let's see. Go away. It's like the inside of a senor frog. Here we go! Oh my god! Oh, god. Oh, shit, it's <laughs> flame! Woo! Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> the 
tequila touched the flames and it was like, yes, sir, I shall. It, it's still on fire. You see the blue flame, like, right, like, right, what do you see? Right here? Yeah. That's a flame. It is. But see, when alcohol burns, and I know this plenty of times from putting alcohol in my hand and then lighting a freaking lighter just to show people, look at, I could put fire in my hand. Yeah. But... But the thing is, is like with certain alcohols, the, you can't see the flame. You mm -hmm. can only feel the heat of it. Mm -hmm. So you could get extra hurt this way. Just saying. True. We're, we're going to give this uh, uh, 15 minutes instead of the usual 10 and see how that does. It's, it's, it's floating. All right, let's, uh, you know, take it out. Okay. And give it a sear. And, and what tequila is not complete without a little bit of salt? That's and, right, sir. And pepper. That's right. Ah, oh, he put the fucking butter in. Whoa. He put the fucking butter in. He's so searing it's, it. Yeah, and he's searing it, so it's gonna have that nice nutty buttery flavor on top of it good. with the lemony like lime tequila. F I think this is gonna be fucking I bomb. I think it's gonna taste real good. Yeah, I think it's gonna be bomb. Ah. Mm -hmm. oh. You gotta sear it when he's doing that. He is. He's doing it proper. Let's cut it open and see how that we looks, did. Wow. You see how... Fr oh, look at that! It looks pretty bomb. Oh, he cut it right, too. So you see the layers of the tissue? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stop spamming my chat. It's annoying. Yeah. Oh, you see that little fat piece right there? Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Looks good. Watermelon came down. She's like, I want to see the fucking steak, too. All right, watermelon, come here. Ow. You want to see the steak? You want to see the meat? Hi, girl. She wants to see that meat. Hey, baby. Yeah. All right. Going for 15 minutes is clearly a mistake. That is well done on its way to congratulations right now. Oh, there. that looks Here so yummy. It's not good. I don't oh, know really? If it's the sourness of it or, or what's going on. It, it tastes like if, 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 if sour mix went bad. You know what? It's the tequila uh, that's doing it. It's that lingering sweetness accompanied by the, 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 the sourness that's not done. See, maybe a steak boiled in just plain tequila would be amazing. Maybe. That mix. Yeah, that mix is gross, though. That's a bad mix. You've had that. I've you had that, definitely yeah. definitely have that. Definitely. It's, it's disgusting. You want to make an actual margarita. You don't want to ever use an, a margarita mix with tequila. It's gross. It does it, not taste good. No. That sucks. Oh, well. Right. I'm going to have to give the steak boiled and margarita mix a one out of five. Damn. Boop, boop, boop. We need some ruffalos. How many ruffalos does it get? <clears throat> he didn't say. I know. Now I found this, honey. This sweet girl. And this is Fat Man and Big Mama. That's awesome. And Big Mama today wanted to make a homemade pizza. So we're going to watch Big Mama make a homemade pizza. <laughs> hey Hunt, okay, oh my gosh, long time no see, I'm not even going to try to actually remember the last time I vlogged or done anything, it has been more than a hot minute, I know, hey Hunt, how y'all doing, it is... What is it? She gets hate, I bet. How much do you bet she gets hate? Most likely. Let's look down here. In, 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 in this. Where the heck is the chat? There it is. Why does Bo's job mean they, when they say there's no duty positions open? If he or his job. Oh my God, they're like our freaking trolls. Asking stupid questions. Hashimoto's. Yeah, that's 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 what I have. No, I haven't been checked. Oh shoot, she should get she should get checked. 
It's the same as hypothyroidism, but more tired. Well, yeah. It's genetic. Yeah. God bless her, man. That's right. You can pay for and send me a pizza if we guys. What do I feel like? Just any freaking pizza. God bless you. Thank you. April. I was about to say March. It is April the 20th. Third. Something. It's Friday. Oh, it's not the yeah, same no, day. Cutie. It's, this is two days ago, and she talks to her cats. All right, lady. Um, All right. Yeah, yeah. Hazel's adjusting real well. She is... Oh, it's a puppy. How cute. She loves food. She's like my dad. My dad would have storage of food like that. Anna D. Morris. At an eight ball. She has got doors to where she'll play. Even to the cat. The cat and, and Hazel. Maybe a salad. Maybe. That's a new chick in Tom Cruise stuff. Can you put our stuff? What do you want me to put in? Our, our links and stuff. Our links and stuff. Yeah. Play with one another. It is hilarious to see them play. Don't you? Come here. God bless this woman. Hey, Hazel. She deserves more views. Hazel, you always got to see what mom is doing, don't you? Are you nosy? Oh, look at that sniffer. Be my, yeah, how's your mama's helper, huh? You're yeah. your good boy. Okay, yeah. She could steal a show for sure. Um, sorry again, MIA. Y'all just know the drill. If you've been here long enough, you know. It is what it is. We take what we can get when we can get it. Amen. Amen. You get what you get, and God will bless you the way he blesses you, and, and you will thank the Lord how he blesses you, and he'll bless you good. Jesus Christ is good, man. Um, I don't know if I've posted since Carol Beth put her stuff in the art show or not. We have not heard if she sold anything or not. Um, the show, they said, has gone successfully, so we just don't know for her end, you know, she sold anything. Today, we went to the grocery store. Fat Man has been off work for over a month now. I think I've told y'all, you know, he had his surgery in March, um, the 18th. Oh, she tells about her life, too, what's going on. Oh, uh, yeah, she definitely gets hate. Mm -hmm. She's like... Well, we need to get super personal with you because you say what's going on in your life, so we need to know every aspect of your life because for some reason, just because you say some personal things means you have to say all personal things or else you're a fucking liar. That That's YouTube to a T. Yeah. I feel you, girl. 15th, something like that. We just that. try to exist um, here. He had torn his bicep. That's what got, he had ripped it. Like, ripped, ripped it. Yeah. And Dr. Curtis has done told him if he ever does it again, there's no fixing up. There's nothing else to hold on to. So, he has to be extremely careful. He still has not gone back to work. They're talking light duty, but work is like, well, we don't want you back if you aren't 100%. <sighs> So y'all just pray about what goes on with that because... All right. Dear Jesus, please heal this woman's husband and make his surgeries all wonderful and let him be put together whole. Let his family be comforted in this time of indecision and, and not knowing what exactly to do. In your name, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, I pray. Amen. Amen. Gotcha, girl. Yeah, boy howdy. Being out of work for one month is one thing, but going on two, maybe three, I don't know what we're going to do. Anywho. God's going to find a way, honey. God's always finds a way. You're going to be just fine. If you need to help, she's got an Amazon wish list. If you would like to help her, please help her. She needs some help, man.
today finds me I'm actually feeling pretty good for the way I've been feeling. Um, God bless we you. We went Tuesday. I have had so many appointments between Carabeth going to the dentist, Batman having his surgeries, and going for follow-ups, and going for visits for that, and then for me, just my normal run-of-the-mill crazy self. Um, it's just been non-stop. And, uh... May Jesus also find a way how to slow things down for you, too. People need support in this world. They're going through a lot. Love your brother and sister, man. We went to the grocery store today. Did that. Went and had lunch. We ate at Arby's. Thought we were saving some money by using that coupon. Heck yeah, girl. You know Arby's is fucking good. You get that big, uh, uh, melty cheese sandwich. That's so good. That ham and cheese. Oh, God. Get some curly fries with a side of cheese on that shit. Have you noticed I like cheese? Mm-hmm. Keep your coupon and eat at home because you ain't saving no money. They charged us six dollars for some drinks. Little small drinks. Right. Well, I had water in the car. I had water. I should have gone and gotten my water. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Anywho, tonight, tonight finds us, um, like I said, we're on a very tight, tight, but I say that all the time, but this time it's for real. You only got one income. Y'all, well, we always only had one income, but you know what I mean? Um, we got extra. We make them at home with queso and roast beef. Oh! That is some sexy stuff, man. I love pepper jack cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's she doing here? Medical expenses because his copay, every time we go to the doctor, every time he goes to therapy, he's going to start therapy Wednesday. So that'll be 15 o'clock. Oh, God. That poor woman. She's going through a lot, man. I hope her channel blows up. May Jesus Christ blow up her channel and she gets paid so much money. Anywho, I've got some non bread. They had this at Aldi the other day, marked 50% off. And you got two long flatbreads. Nice. So I got those, put them in the refrigerator. I knew we were going to have pizza nuts. She, she's using flatbread. For her pizza. That's smart. That's smart. That like ups like making pizza bread. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love it. So I'm just taking, I've got a bunch of just leftover cheeses. Um, this is Parmesan, some ravioli I made one night. I should have saved some of it. Um, you know what? I am going to put some of it back in here. Because we are doing another ravioli thing Monday. We are declaring Mondays meatless Mondays. I was going to do Nana's potty because that's what Carol Beth requested. But I already have. Yeah, she has. She does have over a thousand subscribers. But I'm wondering about the watch time because she only, for this video, only has 246 views. She's getting started. Yeah, she's just getting started. Yeah. <clears throat> but I want her views to be bigger than that, because she needs money. Her husband needs money. I hope well, just at, Jesus blesses yeah, her, they, man. The, look at Simply Sarah. Yeah. I mean, she'll get there. You just got to have consistency. That's right. Make videos on a regular basis. Can't her hubby get temporary disability? Maybe she didn't even know that existed. You know? Oh my God! Will you take your conspiracy theories somewhere else? We're having a good time, weirdo. Everything's always twisted as something sinister. It's so stupid. I'm literally watching someone make a pizza. Yeah. Grow up. That's why I put it. How much watch time do you need? Uh, four thousand uh hours. Yeah. 
all the stuff for the raviolis. So the manicotti, I would have had to buy the noodles and the cheese and all that fun kind of stuff. So, save the money. We're just going to use what we've got. I am Heck yeah. some of this Colby Jack in there. Dude, honey, Colby Jack on a pizza is really good. It's really melty and it, it has that <laughs> nice, like, tangy taste to it. What are you doing, girl? <laughs> She literally is going. You want to videotape that? Oh, wait, wait, I'll do it real quick. <laughs> like, what is she doing? I don't know what she's doing. Watermelon. Watermelon. Watermelon, what are you doing? Girl, why are you in his jacket like that? Watermelon! Food! There, you pop out for that. Why were you in there, girl? Why were you in there? And there's Gavin. Mm -hmm. he, he heard food and he's like, okay, I'm, I'm, at, I'm out. No, all cats do that when you call food. It's like that's, that's true. I got it. There you go. That will be in the community post. On members only. If you would like to see the video, you would have to go to members only. And you can watch it. Let me put that on the community tab. For Shaniite or higher. Do do. Upload a video. There she is. <laughs> Why did you do that? I don't know what that was. You think that was it? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe she did. Watermelon in. I'll wait for that to upload. You may officially All right. name at the convenience store as the wizard. Every dollar you donate to Shani makes Satan cease. I love that. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Let's continue with Big Mama. Yeah, I'm just kind of taking like little handfuls. I opened up the wrong sauce. If you're looking at my crust, I opened up some diced tomatoes instead of tomato sauce. I just grabbed. So, <laughs> there you go. I think this is still good. It should be. It should be. I'm going to pop it on in there and find out. Okay. She got some mozz in there. Here, you want some cheese? Yeah, put some a lot of cheese in there, girl. So the only thing I did, this is diced tomatoes. We're gonna make it work. It looks like diced tomatoes with some oregano on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It does. Why? Yeah. I was gonna say plum tomatoes, but my eyes are horrible. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a good way how to save money. Yeah. Hey, it's good. Like I said, I opened the wrong can. We're gonna use it. This is some mozzarella, some Colby Jack, and some Parmesan, and I'm just going to kind of... The only other thing I've added to this is I've sprinkled on Italian seasoning. Hey, I was right. What you know? I, I, I am a genius. <clears throat> so, and I'm just going to kind of talk while I top this with cheese. I'm going to get very cheesy. 
sure we kind of stir it up really well. Get that Parmesan from the bottom. Um, I'm trying to think about what else exciting has gone on. Um, da, 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 da. I can't think of anything. Just Batman hanging here at home. He has gotten much better. He can actually move it some. He cannot put any, he can't pick up anything. Anything with any kind of weight is a no-go. He can't pick up anything more than a coffee cup is what they said. So, um, so I've got a little bit of this cheese left and a little bit of the parm left. So I'll use that one you. No meat Monday. Um, so, and then I think I have in one of these freezers, I thought I had. That looks good. Yeah. That looks bomb. You know what would be really good on that? Huh. Some, like, um, artichoke hearts. Yeah. I put some artichoke hearts on that, man. Yeah. What's up, Kathleen Cruz? How are you, Cruzy? How's things going? What's well, been hanging? How you doing? Some pepperonis. Pepperonis, pepperonis. Oh, I do look at there. Pepperonis. Pepperoni. And I've got, Carol Beth has gotten to wear, um, I don't know if I showed y'all those chicken strips. You know, the pre-made chicken strips I've gotten before. Like all, all right, I'll see you later, Duck. The grilled. Um, she loved chicken quesadillas. Mm. We had gone somewhere, and they had actually put chicken on her quesadilla, and she loved it. Oh, that sounds yummy. So, now I can buy that just already pre-grilled sliced chicken. It just makes the quickest meal. Right now, the way I've been feeling, oh, that's what I was gonna get to. Anywho, and quick, convenient, easy is what we're striving for. Okay, uh -oh. I meant to just do two. Yeah? Well, we'll do half. Do half. She'll have half one and Bo will have half. There you go. Okay, this one in half. That's what we'll do. Okay, anywho. Anywho. Uh oh, hey y'all. Okay. Anywho, um, I was going on two fronts and I forgot what they were. Oh, what? me. Um, we went the other day. I said in between his appointments, her appointments, my appointments. You know what's wrong with some of you people in my chat? You're so paranoid about who I am as a person. I'm literally watching someone cooking. Why would someone horrible be watching someone cooking? Jeez, God. I'm not scamming anyone. Get over yourselves. I'm just being a YouTuber like everyone else. Mm -hmm. She's got sauce on it. Isolationist. Um, and I just told him, I said, I am so run down. I mean, I just... I'd wake up, and y'all know me in sleep. I would like to be able to sleep. She needs to take care of herself. She's feeling burnt out. She's taking care of everything, her husband and everyone. And she needs to take care of herself. She needs some me time, and she wouldn't be feeling so burnt out. That's my opinion. You know? Needs a nice vacation. Yep. On the beach, on a chair. With a drink, just chilling. Yeah, she just needs to be away from everyone and do her own thing for a while and just chill. Mm -hmm. But, like, what do you do when your husband's laid up and everyone, like, depends on you? Yeah. You know? That's true. You get in problems like I did. I wasn't taking care of myself. I was like, I need some time to take care of myself. And now that I'm taking care of myself, everything's going better. Yeah. You know, I, you know what I mean? True. Girl, let me tell you. Watch what you pray for. Because I was sleeping and I could not. 
I literally could not wake up. Like, I'd wake up and I'd go right back to sleep. Girl? I'd wake up and I'd go right back to sleep. And it just went on that way. It would be, it would be one or two o'clock in the afternoon. Seriously. Could it be menopause? Menopause does that too. So before I could actually function, I would get up and then get dressed and kind of start functioning somewhat. I'd do maybe one thing and that was it. Some days I didn't even get dressed. Um, I just, I stayed in the recliner and there I was. And I told that man, I said, I don't know what's going on, but I just, something, something ain't right. So we... Could be depression. Hmm? It could be depression. Could be any number of things. It well, could be. It burnout. Burnout, yeah. Burnout will make you act like that your body... Right. <laughs> can't do it anymore. Exactly. I feel bad for her, man. Yeah, she needs a good rest. And chillax time. Exactly. Yeah. She does. We went this past Tuesday. Yeah. And the doctor's office, and they did. They found fluid in my ears. So that explained the boom, boom, boom noise. Oh, no. Nah. Um, got steroids for that. And then my thyroid level came back, like, really low. So they... She's got hypothyroidism. It sounds that way. Her thyroid level is really low. That's hypothyroidism, man. They told her to get tested for Hashimoto's. Yeah, she needs to go on some, uh, some thyroxin, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Burned out thyroid. Yeah, man. My thyroid levels are fine. I don't need any, you know, thyroxin right now. But, like, Great I am, I do have Hashimoto's. Like, it fluctuates, so we gotta, like, keep looking at the blood, my blood, and getting my blood, and it's horrible, because I'm, like, a horrible blood taker. You the veins. Yeah, man. It's horrible. Bump my levothyroxine I take anyway. Oh, oh she... They bumped it on up. So oh, she, she is already hypo-diagnosed with hypothyroid, uh hypothyroidism if she's already taken level thyroxin. Yeah. Yeah, I was on that for years. There you go. Yeah. I am praying. Between the steroids finally kicking in, which day is day three. And well, then... that could also cause sleep disturbances, steroids. Mm -hmm. The increase in the levothyroxine I'm praying we're toward the other curve. Of course, I have treatment tomorrow. All right. Right when I start getting kind of, there's the hiccup in the road. So, but it is what it is. It does fluctuate. You're lying to try to invalidate me. Go away, Mary Jane. You're a bad Mary Jane. You're skunk weed. Anywho, um... But yeah, I'm just going to do those pizzas tonight. Like I said, it's Friday night. Pizza. We had done some subs one night. Hey, we had gone to Walmart. Walmart? Yeah, Walmart, Walmart, a couple Walmart. weeks back and had bought some of the subs from the deli. You love them. They are damn good subs. The Walmart subs? Yeah, you said. They are damn good. That the Americans like bomb. Oh, I love the American sub. Mm -hmm. African Walmart. It's so good. They got like this like crusty, like cheesy on top of the sub, and then you got some ham and you got some really good American cheese. It's just really bomb. You put some fucking mayo on that shit, it's good to go. How come a sandwich is better if somebody else makes it? Now, see, if I would have made that sandwich at home, I wouldn't have wanted it. I left the deli wrapped in some paper, and there you go. It was delicious. Mm-hmm. Um, I need to start some tea. She's cool. We've got chips. Oh, I'm thinking of subs. I'm like, oh, yeah, we got chips. Y'all, today at the brunch... 
You never had a Walmart sub? I love Publix subs. Oh my God. Publix is like the greatest grocery store I've ever been to. When I used to live in Florida, the Publix. Oh my God. When we ever take a vacation down to Florida, we have to go to Publix. I've heard they're really good. Yeah. Oh my God, they're good. I had one of those Walmart subs today. It was awesome, right? No, I've never had a Marlboro pie. Should I be scared? What is it? What is it? Is it a cigarette pie? Because when I hear Marlboro, all I think about is cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Tell me what it is. Grocery store. I did not what is it? Grocery haul. I was worn slapped out. By the time we got home and got unloaded and got it put away, trying to deal with him. And really, truly, he's, he's doing great on his own. Honestly, that is cleaning up that screwed in porch for me. Um, God, it smells like that gummy. It's an apple tort with sherry. Oh, yum. That sounds so beautiful, Marquis. Yum. Oh, oh. Marlboro pie. Oh, wow. I want to try that stuff. That sounds great. Oh, that sounds so lovely and, and just oh, elegant. My, my, you should have some wine with that dessert. That just sounds like a dessert you should have some wine with. My favorite fancy dessert is Bananas Foster. Oh. That's always going to be my favorite. That was my dad's favorite. Oh. There was a French restaurant we used to go to, and they made it at the table. Oh. Real fancy. With the flames? Yeah. Oh, that's so amazing. It's a really fancy restaurant. I love that. Oh, I wish that place was ah! still. I'd take you there if it still yes. exists. <laughs> oh, it's made with eggs. Look it up. Oh, thank you, Marquis, for the idea of the Marvel pie. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's yummy. So yes. Share that. Ooh. Yum. I was going to say, what is on fire? I'll make it on stream. Yeah, that's cool. Let me go see what my little fire bag back here is doing. Something's burning. Oh, no. Like, Bless your heart. She must have her little mini the poo pot. Amy, honey, she loves that thing. Carol um, Ann. What is the Winnie the Pooh pot? I don't know. I love Winnie the Pooh. I know you do. I love Winnie the Pooh. That was both the boys, um, like when they were babies. I got them Winnie the Pooh stuff, and, yeah, and so then cute. when Zachary was born, I got the Winnie the Pooh double stroller. Oh. I know. That's super cute. All I wanted was the boy. That was the first book I got when I found out I was pregnant was the Winnie the Pooh book. It's beautiful. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh's beautiful. Innocent. I know, right? That's yeah. so beautiful. Hi, Sandra. How are you? She, she she was bragging the other day. She got a new warmer, a new smell, a new smell for it. peach cobbler. Oh, you, mama, it's making me want peach cobbler so bad, mm -hmm. and it does it smells the whole house. Oh, peach cobbler is the best smell. Mm -hmm. Oh, but at, baked apples are real, like anything with baked apples. Mm -hmm. Like Marquis de Sade's house got to smell so fucking good right now. Mm -hmm. Oh. And then someone comes in your house and they smell it and they're like, ooh. And the smell lingers on for a couple days, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like just you should be baking like at least one dessert every few days just for the smell <laughs> to linger in your house. Yeah, that's true. I still have my Winnie the Pooh sleeping bag I got when I turned three. That is so cute. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'm making peach cobbler too. Oh my God. Sexy. Mm -hmm. Weird. It's Google, baby. It's that Google thing. Yeah. 
smells so good. But every once in a while, I'll get like this. It's the human one consciousness coming together. Yeah. And 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 we're all becoming one. You know, that's what it is. I think that's could be. And I think that's good. Like we really need to stop fighting each other and just like be one minded with each other. Because it's like, we have so many different things we could talk about other than stupid stuff that pisses you off about the other person. Like, ignore the stupid stuff that pisses you off about the person and try to find something you could talk about. Yeah. I made it last week and it worked out so well. So, Peach Cobbler is tomorrow's aw. Oh, sexy bitch. Yum. Yum. What's on fire, Snail? <laughs> <laughs> I just said no, it's you burning your little thing, isn't it? You, do you have your honey pot on? Ooh. Okay. Oh, Sandra. She says, I love making chocolate pavlova with chocolate fudge. You know what pavlova is, right? I, nah, it's basically a meringue, a big giant like meringue. Okay. Eye shaped meringue. That's what pavlova is. Okay, gotcha. So she makes it's usually a, a white pavlova with strawberries and whipped cream, right? Yeah. But she makes a chocolate pavlova with chocolate fudge. Yum. That sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. Have you done anything required? Yes. Oh, jeez. My God. You guys are so stupid. You just make things up. It's called making a video, Ariana. That's what I'm doing. I'm making money. Let me make money. Thanks. Bye. That's what I smell. That's called doing a requirement. Carol Ann. Hazel. Sorry. Hazel. <laughs> Carol Ann. Just welcome to the neighborhood. I love her voice. Yes, yeah, her voice is so great. She's great. I yeah. love Big Mama. Yeah, I love her too. I watch every one mm. of her videos. I know. She's great. Um, there's that man. Maybe he'll come in here in a second. She loves Jesus. Well, hello, Toodle Pants. How are you, Toodle Pants? That's a great name. I love that name, Toodle Pants. It's the best. It is. Yes, I have a lamp with no shack. Yeah, she's been saying the whole time, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. That's the, the, she's, she, she definitely a sister. She loves Jesus, you can tell. Oh, you can tell. Look at that beautiful cross. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, she purposely put that cross in the background. You see that? Court. Yeah, of course. Like, I'm going to show you I love God. Amen, sister. Hey. Yes. My picture, I got hung up. Uh, my old envision nurse, she's a travel nurse now, she gave me that. That's beautiful. It fits awesome. there perfectly. I need to make my cross. It's yes, I'll review the pizzas on stream. It's all sitting or something. <laughs> so, if it's gross, hey, I'm not right. eating it. And there's his doors. Hey, Doris. Yeah, if you get a pepper she's pizza, resting. she ain't even going to eat it. I'll end up eating this it. This little hunk like, of junker. Look at that little cute baby. Hey, she got a puppy. What a baby. Yeah. Ooh, I like the mirror back there. Yeah. But see, I don't like mirrors in my houses because I just, I, I just, it freaks me out. Yeah. I believe in ghosts too much. I think that's what it is. Yeah. That's why I, like, I literally can't stand a closet door open. I have to close it. Or, like, um, what's another thing I have that's really weird? Because of ghosts. Like the darkness. I can't sleep in the dark. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've seen too many, too much stuff, man. She has been out just running. So Look at the Kit Kats right here. There's a baby's right there. What's that, Kit Kat? So hard chasing and playing with this one. Oh, hi, baby. This Look at that face. So cute. Oh my god, you can tell when he eats, he gets all the dog food in his fur. Yeah. He's that pizza. He's so cute. <laughs> so cute. Hi, Johnny Fappleseed. How are you, baby? 
How are you, baby? <laughs> so, yeah, every time they're like, there's nothing there, but it gets flat. It's so stupid. Man. I know. This one has made doors be like a new cup all over again. Hadn't ya? You tired too, sure, aren't ya? Yeah, just oh, what a baby. Evening, that sunshine. Those dogs ruined that floor. Well, that's going to happen. Yeah. If you have a pet, especially dogs, you have to realize that your house is probably going to get beat up. It's just going to happen. Yeah. That's why I don't like dogs so much. Anymore. Yeah. I like, understand. cats will f ruin your furniture. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, they do. Yeah. they, they But they don't it. pee and poop on the carpet like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> I gained over a hundred pounds in the last eight months, Anastasia. Okay. And your proof of that is it's so stupid, people. And you're discouraging Shanny from getting food to eat. Like literally, go to hell. I mean, do these people realize... They, they just have to talk about something that's stupid. Anyway, let's continue on with Big Mama. That worn out playing in that sunshine. Okay. Big ketchup. Let's just do kind of a ketchup. Um, Dr. Thyroid. Bow. Shoulder. Not back at work. <laughs> I'm speaking of... The fat man. <laughs> the fat man. Huh? Awesome. I was telling him that you haven't been back at work. No. We're Bob Hoskins. You do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This guy is the uh -huh. bomb. This guy is yep. great. He, Please tell me he eats the food. I bet he eats the food, and I guarantee he's the type of man that knows not to piss off your wife. Of course he knows that. That's why he didn't, he, he saw the camera on him. He's like, he just comes in and he takes it. Like another husband would say, what the hell are you to get me off camera? Like another husband would probably say that. Yeah. He's part of it. So yeah. he's part of her channel. But yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. He knows not to piss her off. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's a smart man. That's a good husband. Yeah. Because when you piss off your wife, that means you hurt her. Yeah. He's going stir crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> this guy's awesome. Me right. Now he's keeping me straight. Oh. Huh? <laughs> I'm keeping you straight. You better believe it, honey. I'm telling him about how even tooth and hazel. Keep your back straight in bed. Oh my God. Ken. Ken. Hey, Ken. Here's your next channel, Ken. Okay. Uh huh. This guy is. Right. Big. Ken will love this guy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I love him. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta miniaturize him and put him on the shelf. I agree. Yeah. Uh -huh. I get Bob Hoskins vibes. Oh, he's from, awesome from his, from his look. Yeah, he does kind of have a Bob Hoskins thing. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I've never seen a cat tussle with a dog. I know. <laughs> Okay, this guy is content gold. This woman should have a channel that's like 270,000 subscribers because of this guy. Yeah. He's content gold. You tussle with them. Yeah. I don't know what to do. This channel needs to blow up just so it they will. can make money for themselves and they don't have to worry about they, work no more. They need the blessing. Yeah, they need that blessing because they suffering right now. They're going through a lot, man. Yeah. We got to help them out. Oh, this is great. Yeah, what's up, cubes? Oh, what? Maybe not. It's called Maybe Gray not. Pubes. Oh, my God. So what else? Yeah, his name is Gray Pubes. I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, he, he he's an old man, I guess. What's up, old man? You got the Gray Pubes. How you doing? How you doing, sir? Another cross behind him. Amen. I love it. Oh, God, they got crosses everywhere in their house. Praise I love it. Jesus. Yeah. And he's rude. Great pubes. <laughs> I was complimenting you, and you had to be rude. Not evading anything. No one's evading nothing. Nobody's evading anything. No. Oh, God. Go away. What you doing out there? 
Well, I washed those cushions off and been sweeping and uh, she rubbing his yeah, tummy. Doing That's stuff. He, she rubs his tummy like a Buddha. That's beautiful. She rubs his tummy for good luck. Let me guess. Praise God. She loves her husband. Mm -hmm. That's love. Yep. That's love. I ain't feeling like a man right now. Mm -hmm. because Do you I'm two have work. crosses? Honey, I got a cross tattooed on me. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah, man. No, I got crosses on my Bible, and I have a cross pendant that I wore that I saved. Uh, so I got crosses, yeah. Yeah, we got crosses, baby. Yeah. I, I carry my cross with me wherever I go. Amen? Yeah. Amen. You right. better know I'm a believer. If you see my thumb, you know I'm a believer. <laughs> like, I, I showed it to Trisha Payton. She's like, are you really a believer, or are you just doing it for a shtick? And I showed her the cross, like, come on. Why would I get a tattoo of a cross on me if I wasn't a believer? Yeah, that's the real deal. Right? Yeah. True. You know a man with a belly? He got, he eats good. He eats, I eat, we all eat. He got property. He got him a job. <laughs> no, he, he got property. Go <laughs> He's like, whatever, honey. We might not keep eating good if we don't hurry up and go back. <laughs> Guarantee you he's a good man. Oh, we keep getting phone calls for your... Our YouTube is registered in our name. Thank advisor. you very much. Maybe Stop putting stuff misinformation out there. <laughs> you think you could stay home, Bubba? No. No. He can't do it. Oh, and now his hand. Bless his heart. It's his right shoulder. His left hand has bothered him off and on for years. It has gotten way worse. Way, I don't know if it's because he's more dependent on his on his left hand now because, you know, his right shoulder's messed up. I don't know. But bless his heart, he just... Today at lunch, he never about dropped my drink. He had gone and got me a refill on my drink. And uh, they were too expensive to drop, I tell you. <laughs> I told him we went with all intentions of saving money because we had a coupon. But shoot, <laughs> <laughs> them drinks doubled that price. <laughs> Good gravy. What was it? I know drinks doubled in price. I'm telling you, man, it's bad. People, we are not child abusers. Please stop putting that in my chat. Huh? It was twenty nine forty seven for a fifteen dollar meal. That's right. Thirty dollars for a fifteen dollar meal, honey. Drinks. Oh my God. Drinks. Yeah, we could have gone to Cindy's. We really and truly could have gone to Cindy's. Because at Cindy's you get a meat and three vegetables, your tea, and a dessert. You get all that. With tax and everything, it's $11. So Dang, that's a good deal, man. Tax and everything, it's, a do it's $11? That's wow. a good deal. That's like 90s prices or yeah, man. 85 or something. That's awesome. Hi, Gabby. How are you, handsome boy? You being a good boy. What you doing? Uh, what you doing, handsome? What you doing, boy? You want to come up here and cuddle? He was up here. Want to cuddle? You want to be here, Gavin? He will when he wants to. Ugh. would have eaten for thirty three dollars even. Today at Arby's we spent twenty nine forty seven. Insane. And it was Arby's. I would have much rather gone to Cindy's and had me some fried catfish. Ooh, some ooh. Yeah. yeah. Some fried green tomatoes. Yeah. Hell fucking oh, no. yeah, girls. I'd much rather have that than freaking Arby's. 
Yeah. Oh man, some fried catfish and fried green tomatoes. <laughs> I'm in heaven. Mm -hmm. Give me some green beans on the side. <laughs> mm hmm. Damn good, girl. Good stuff. Some melts. Her, her baked beans are good. Her baked beans are good. Where was it that had the oh, Sweet Creek Market? Y'all, if you ever want to try some baked beans, oh my sweet stars and heavens, it's worth a drive just to go to Pike Road, Alabama, to go to Sweet Creek <laughs> Farmer's Market and get the baked beans. I don't care if you live there with nothing else. Get you a, pie, a, a, a mouthful of baked beans. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. serious. They're that good. But yeah, oh, I was talking about little chicken strips. Um, I don't care about this that I wish I would have thought about it. Hi, excuse me. How are you? Oh. And had gotten um, some fresh spinach. And I could have done her spinach chicken Alfredo pizza. Oh, I got, we got a $2 super chat. It says, yeah, baby. Yeah. If you people think you are bad by, if people think you are that bad, why are they watching you? Just stupid logic. All I see is they can't make any real content because they just stream you and get donos. Oh, boom! Who are we watching? Fat man and Big Mama. Excuse me. I want to make them bigger. They're going through a lot, and they need to be blessed on YouTube, man. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, they need it. Mm -mm -mm. She likes those. But that's okay. We'll do it next time. We'll do it next time. Bless her heart. I, can just, I guess I need to start grilling our bacon. Grilling our bacon? Of course, by the time grilling I find bacon. a raw chicken and cook it, we've done had this discussion. Sometimes by the time you buy the raw Chicken and cook it and put it in a bowl or whatever. Or chisserie or whatever. I should have gone and gotten a rotisserie chicken. It didn't even occur to me to do that. That's dumb on my part. Anything. Um, they are funny, aren't they? Yeah. I got those chicken strips because, like I said, she is a loving chicken quesadillas. And I think that's what we're going to do. Yum. I love Tyson chicken strips. Yeah, Tyson chicken kicks butt. Tyson chicken, it's real chicken. Like, they're chicken nuggets. You, like, you see the meat. Yeah, it's flaky meat on the inside. Yeah, I like that. I love their, their, oh, their chicken tenders are so good because it's just real meat with, oh. <laughs> Really yummy. Ooh, and their barbecue bites, those things are good, too. Uh-huh. Woo! Yeah, Tyson. Tuesday. I'll probably go over our menu more. Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to get something up and out and let you know I am still alive. I am still here. Are you done? Um, oh my God. When you don't post every day, people freak out. Is there something wrong with you? Yeah. Are you okay? It's like, nah, I'm just chilling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm on the struggle bus for sure. Bless so, your heart, honey. Yeah. You're gonna get blessed. One day. Hey, hon, how you doing? Hey. Hi. You know, next day. I don't know. I might be curled up in a fetal position on the couch again. Uh, oh, know. bless her heart. I need to be this woman's friend, man. I feel her. I go through the same thing, honey. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. But wait on these pizzas. Mmm. I love fishing too. Night. Um, Later, isolationist. I love fishing. You do. I want to fish. So, yeah, I think that that's, you know, I'm going to show y'all pizzas. And then I'll probably just post this one on out. Because really and truly, I don't have nothing to do or show you or say or. Just kind of catch up. Like I said, I just mainly wanted to let you know that I am still here. I am still alive. Um, yeah, yeah. 
All right. We're still doing it. You We're still doing it. <laughs> Hanging in there tighter than a hair and biscuit, I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's the word. We ain't gonna say burnt, we're gonna say done. I love Tarpon Springs. Ah, oh, I love that place. That looks good. Oh that yeah, good. girl. Those look good. And that's just that flat non bread. And it was, like I said, it had that fifty percent off sticker, so it had my name on it. I mean, we were sticker shopping that day. We got Markdown donuts. We got Markdown bagels. We got Markdown um, muffins. The frill beef banana nut muffins. Yep, the great Greek tonight. restaurant. Oh, opa! Right. So that's gonna be our pizza for tonight. I'm gonna start pouring up tea. If I went to Tarpon, I would get those Uzo drops. Those Uzo candy drops. Those are so good. You have to like licorice in order to like them, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, I love Tarpon. It's so beautiful. Best sponges anywhere. Amen. And like I said, I think that's going to do it for us tonight. So until next time, they could be sweet. Don't start nothing. There won't be nothing. Share. I know I'm so with the others. Know that I love you and I'm thinking about y'all. And if you need bail money, call me. Call She's me. awesome. If you need bail money, call me. <laughs> She's awesome. She was making some pizza. Yeah. That's great. Pick me awesome. She's great. Ramsey, bro. This is the yeah, you want to see some Gordon Ramsay folks from Cinnamon Ken? Yeah. Yeah, some Ramsay. Watch some Gordon Ramsay go, like, destroy some restaurant. Because it's horrible. I know, right? And it needs to be destroyed. It does, man. <laughs> the stuff he finds sometimes, man. Oh. Oh. Uh. I know, right? Pretty bad. So bad. Really bad, actually, yeah. I wonder if any of us here were at Tarpon Springs at the same time. Maybe. Isn't she a sweetheart? Yeah, she's great. I really like her. Right? I love licorice, too. Yeah. I love licorice. I love it as a kid, as a as an adult. Oh. I did not like black licorice. Before. I always loved it, man. I like it now. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Cinnamon Toast Ken, that's Buff Pro, and this is Kitchen Nightmares. Gordon Ramsay, a disgusting restaurant, sprays their steaks before cooking. What? And that's what yeah. What's wrong with that? All right, well, I can't spray my What do you mean they spray their steaks before cooking? What? With what? What? No. What? 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 Yeah. Steaks, Dave? Huh? Butter? They spray yeah. If well, they, they spray, spray, if they spray their their steaks with butter, then it's like, yeah, I'm for that. Or E V O O. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's fine. What's up, Clone One? How you doing? Anyway, to keep the bugs off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta use the off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, some people wash their meat, some people spray their meat. I don't understand. <laughs> Before we get to that, hit the subscribe button, check out Day Num Buff Pro on the YouTubes, and check out the Toasty Games channel for nice, cool gameplay clips like this. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, what? Where? He's trying to get his gaming channel up. He is trying. Oh, he's playing with pewds. Yeah. Yep. Oh, pewds is the shit. That's among us, right? Yeah, that's Among Us. A bunch of people want me to start playing that. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't even know what type of game yeah. it is, really. Uh -huh. Oh my god, clone. Congratulations. His wife is in labor right now. Wow. Oh my god, that's a happy time. New life. Praise Jesus. That's really awesome. Woo. Cool. That's awesome. What? Ah, There's a lot of people that have been asking me forever, Ken, why don't you play video games anymore? And I'm like, bruh, I do. I just have a second channel for it. But those people that want to watch me play video games don't watch the current videos, so they don't know that we have a second channel. Anyway, check it out. All right. Word has spread that Chef Ramsay is in town. 
And the restaurant that is normally oh, very busy boy. is booked. You know, if I heard Gordon It's Ramsay our first a baby girl. Oh! That's beautiful. Oh, congratulations! Yeah. Oh, you're gonna be so protective of your baby girl. Oh, once you smell her and you look in her eyes and you see how delicate she is, it's just gonna just be the most beautiful thing ever. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations, man. Yeah. I was in town going to a restaurant. I ain't going to that restaurant. <laughs> Oh, heck no. That's the last <laughs> restaurant I'm going to. Chef Ramsay will continue to examine the dysfunctional restaurant. Uh, jeez. Swish. Oh, jeez. <laughs> walked in, man. Uh, wow, this is god-awful. Does anyone actually sit down here? They do, yes. I remember this one. <laughs> the, the doc from Back to the Future. He's a young version. He's got a soul patch and everything. Great like, stuff. He's got some antique chairs. Like, anybody use these? Because, God, look how low that. Ah. Uh. That's really weird. Look yeah. at how weird Ramsey looks on it's that. It's really low, and he kind of looks like a child. He looks almost. like a little boy, Ramsey. He does. <laughs> He's like, is this what I have to sit on? He's like a baby. It is. Did the pizza arrive yet? Mm, I'll check. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, man, she's been there since yesterday. Oh, my God, that's a long labor. I am so sorry, Clone One. Wow. Not yet? Not yet. All right. No. Yeah. What, what is it they say that, like, people have, like, gotten taller throughout history? Like, back in the day when this was, like, new... If, if you were a dude and you were over 5'8", ooh, you know, now you got to be over 6 foot, you know. I'm like, are you, you whoa, 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 whoa. What? 5'8", five, 5'8", five, five, five. Oh, oh, yeah, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. Ah, uh, she was induced. Yeah, that would happen to me with my first William is they induced me. He, he was uh, 9 pounds, 7 ounces. And it, it, I was in labor, I think, for 28 hours. And it, it was it was a long labor. Uh, it took a while for me to um, dilate. So. Hey, man. She'll, she's just taking her time, man. She just wants to, like, chill. Still be in mommy. You know? She's going to be a mommy's girl. I see that. Went downstairs and hit the weights for the first time since I moved to this house yesterday. Yeah. Sheesh. Oh, man. <laughs> How you feeling? I'm sore. I, I couldn't even... Oh, God. I, 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 was, I was like, all right, I know I'm weak here, so let me put my old warm-up weight on here. You know, that I just used to just get my muscles warm. Got a whole workout out of it. Warm-up. Warm-up. Warm <laughs> the old warm-up weight. And I was just like, I had to sit back. And, I figured it up because I have to use, like, kilos or whatever in Australia. I looked oh, at how much weight it was, and kilos? I was like, mm -hmm. "Yeah, <laughs> right." I felt like I'm pretty sure I was in high school last time. I felt like that was heavy. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Uh, it's bad. Uh, working on it. <sighs> working on it. Anyway, I'm sore. I'm whew. get looking good because Mary nope. looks good. Huh. No problem, Clone One. Enjoy your baby. Yeah, that's a blessing from God, and wow. I'm awesome. so happy for him. Yeah, that's awesome. It'll come back, though. They say they, they come, it comes back fast, right? God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope so. Uh, you got this. Why nine pounds? Because he was a big baby. I don't know. <laughs> Zachary, was only eight, Zachary was only eight pounds. So, I just have big babies. Mm -hmm. Hi, cat lady. Oh, you meant wow, not why. Oh, yeah. He was almost a 10-pounder, man. Whew. Yeah. Best thing I ever did, though. Yeah. My kids are awesome. Yeah. They're so fun to talk to. Mm-hmm. I don't have a better one. You don't have a better one. How about nothing? <laughs> oh, my God! Uh -huh. 
he fucking just throws it out. How about nothing? I've been sitting here, you've been ignoring me. I am supposed to be the host of the show. You're supposed to honor me and treat me like a fucking king. Ha! Ha! He should talk about that all the time. But the <laughs> old ladies awesome. that need to sit down, Gordon. Come on, what about the old ladies? What's that? <laughs> oh. Ah! Ah! Broken candy, candy, candy cane. Merry Christmas. Yeah. They don't. They don't clean the couch, obviously. No, it's there from Christmas. Lord. Hi, absurdity. I'm 5'10". <laughs> I'm 5'10". I'm a tall girl. You're more like yeah, let's, just, let's just look under here and find the change that's been dropped in here. Oh, 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 got the winning tickets. <laughs> Oh, man, oh, I thought that was the $5, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, God. Yeah, you opened it up, it's like, Jesus loves you. I'm almost 5'11", okay? I'm not... You're on the edge of yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. They were taken away from me long ago, and I talk to them every day. You're stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. Stop. That person from my email. Like, seriously, you don't know what you're talking about. You have no insight of what's actually going on in my life. You're just making stuff up. He's like, ah! He's like, sort of in the mouth. Like, oh, oh, cool, a 20. You pick it up and it's like, it gives you the long scripture. And you're just like, stealing. And you're just like, I'm never going to church again. Oh, my God. There you go. Nice short ah. The joke. How fitting is that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're a joke there, guy. What kind of message does this send when you have this in the middle of the dining room? Cast yeah, it. <laughs> that doesn't look very good. I wouldn't want to sit in that. That looks like an like someone really like I don't like. Yeah, maybe poops in it. Had an accident. Maybe someone peed on it. I. I. It's just. Ooh. Definitely, it's got a butt groove in it. So. It's butt groove, yeah. Yeah. You remember that episode with Hornler Simpson and, and he lost his butt groove on the couch? I don't. I never watched The Simpsons. Oh, okay. I know there's other people out there yeah, that remember know. that. Definitely. That's basically this. It's a butt groove. Like, you can see that an ass really, like, compressed the sea. Yes. Ooh, man, you know this would be comfy, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can game in this chair already. I can tell. It's got the, it's got the imprint. You know, you just kind of sink into it. <laughs> That's like that old school bucket seat. You know what I'm saying? On accident. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, the, the, if it's got any springs or anything holding the bottom of it, they've already been blown out, so it's got that extra, like, band, you know. You know you can into it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know what he means. Was last time it was clean. You could be right about that. It could ago. be. Oh! Ah! 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 No! Don't do that. Don't put your hand in that stuff. Oh, God. Yeah, a vacuum. You would so fail. T like, just get a new couch. It's old. Uh, it, it, well, if you get that crumb activity, you got to just get a, a a vacuum immediately. Don't put your yeah. hands in that stuff. Right. Just vacuum it immediately. <laughs> That's true. You know, he's getting his hands in there. He is, man. Uh He's just digging in there. He's like, good lord, look at let me just stick my hand in this. Oh, oh, that's so uh, gross. No. Is that, that's yeah, Ramsey's down there. Yes, yeah, you seen that? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. And I was like, well, yeah, whatever, man. Oh, Vacuum it. You are kidding me. What was that? Someone's, some snot rags? Snot rags. Right. Drugs. The, yeah, I found the drugs. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like the drugs, <laughs> but the drugs <laughs> like me. Hey, I don't like, like the, the drugs, the drugs, the drugs. I believe you're on Get rid of the couch, get rid of the state, take it out and burn it. Should be burned. It is blasphemy to have a couch and a chair like that. You must burn it. Well, I mean, if you're going to have something to sit on in front of your restaurant, it should be some furniture that's been purchased within the last 10 years. In all honesty, I think a wooden bench is probably the best because it can be easily cleaned, taken care of, and it lasts forever. Yeah. You can Perkins. wipe it off every And it's really hour. stylish looking. Yeah. Like Perkins has that. Yeah. yeah. But a couch with material, like moisture sinks in there and stuff. No. Like, 
No. Not a good idea. No. I agree. He's going to bring it to the kitchen. <laughs> he brings it to the kitchen. All the roaches start jumping out of it. Goomers start screaming. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Well, covered in dust. Hand sanitizer. Like, like you know. Yeah. Hand sanitizer. Wash them. Soap and water. Yeah. And what they, they did like a, the little Petri test or whatever, like people's hands, they're like, wash it with soap and they stick it on the, di the tray and then it's like using hand sanitizer and stick it on the tray and the hand sanitizer yeah. was still dirtier than the just washing your hands with soap and water. Soap and water's king. Soap and water, you get soap <laughs> away. It's a cla the classic, you know, you get the suds up and lifts the stuff off your skin and brushes it away, you know. You, I think that the kills 99% of germs is probably marketing, mm -hmm. to be honest, maybe not, but if it feels like it is, <laughs> yeah. it kills 99.9% of germs. If you die because of a germ, that's the 0.1%. Yeah. All right, what's he digging for now? Ooh. Uh, uh, oh, right. my God, no. That is a health violation, man. Well, yeah. This is a restaurant, so yeah. Ah. Uh. Yeah. How, how do you get down off a dragon? I don't, I don't know. Ask Frodo. Uh. Like rats or mold? I can't quite. I think it's, it's kind of sitting on top of it. I think it's like. Where is that? I think it's under a chair, like a uh, dining, like just the oh. dining, like a quarter seat or whatever. There's all rat droppings everywhere. Yeah, okay, rat poop. Yikes. Go find the whole wow. Rat in There's a shoe. Why is there a shoe? Dude. There's a shoe? Shocking, shocking. You keep your dirty shoes under the bonquette. <laughs> okay. Why is there shoes there? The guy what is... happened? What's the story? Why is it one shoe? Well, Ramsey just said, you're telling me you keep your, your, your shoes underneath here? It's his shoes, apparently. Oh, no. I don't know. What is the story of the shoe? I don't know. You think we'll find out? Probably. All right. I'm thinking. They're not mine. Oh! oh. They, They're not his. They're not his. So what is the real story of the shoe? He, he better have a story. How did the shoe get under the freaking bench is the question. That is the question, isn't it? Die? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you know, maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe. No, they looked about the same size as old Randy's shoes that he's lying. <laughs> yeah, size them up. Size them up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Might be lying. Yeah, well, I don't know. He's got, he's got pretty, pretty small feet. Maybe they're not his. I mean, look at the carpet, though. Yeah, this place is. It's, it's a very old place. Yeah, it's an old like, place. We want to keep the rustic, or not the rustic, but like the, the antiquity to it. Some stuff is just. You need new things sometimes. Right? Yeah. You know, stuff doesn't last forever. Right. Just go slap an old pattern on it. You, know? <laughs> yeah, you can probably find the same pattern carpet. It'll probably be a little thicker and cushier. Look how dusty that carpet is, though, man. For a restaurant? I, what? The, yeah. car the carpet needs to be replaced, too. Yeah, but this is, pro this is like a family restaurant, and I've been in a lot of places like this. They, they let things go because the customers don't really care because they've gone there for so long. <clears throat> and it, they just don't do the upkeep. No. It I've, doesn't look like it. I've been in many restaurants like this, and their food is delicious, okay? But... Hi, Annie Oakley. Said this thing. How are you? Continue on. No, that's it. It's, it's... Family restaurants can get very comfortable. Yeah. Because they have regular customers that come all the time. True. All the time. So they'll let their carpets get dingy. They'll let their front of house get a little messy because they can. Mm -hmm. And they don't have to spend the money on it, so it's less overhead. Yeah, true. Now, if you're going into Olive Garden and you see this, run. Oh, fuck. Because it's real bad. You know, it's probably really bad. Dudes. Dudes. Oh, my baby. Dudes. This is some serious crap that just happened. What happened? Space Force boss acknowledges the U.S. will begin facing threats outside of Earth. Really? What? This is definitely not a conspiracy theory. Space Force confirmed a chill and fear in the U.S. government. 
U.S. Space Force General B. Chance Saltzman is the second ever top chief at this new military branch that former President Donald Trump created during his time in office. Initially, this effort was ridiculed by the media and the general population due to all stigma attached to it, but Saltzman issued a concerning warning at the Space Symposium at Colorado Springs, Colorado. This Colorado Springs? Yeah, this uh, past this week, big deal. it all happened right in the middle of all the activity related to unexplained aerial phenomenon that's taken place since the start of 2023. He is convinced the United States is entering a new era of space activity and the threats will be vastly different. Starfleet. Oh, look at the logo. My God. Scene. Starfleet. Yeah, it's Starfleet. It's Starfleet. It's happening. Dude, Star Trek. Is she for real? Yeah, I'm for real, this man. This is for real, man. This is for real, for real. And they even put in the headline right at the top, this is n definitely not a conspiracy theory. Yeah. Okay? It's the actual guy saying, we're going to face threats from space. Dude, the aliens are coming. They're coming. I've been telling you this. Starfleet's happening. Okay, I want you to right now go to Twitter and I want you to look up Space Force and look at the logo. Star Trek is happening. This is incredible. It is. We're going to go to the stars like Picard. Bro. Engage. Yes. I want to do that. I want to say engage. <laughs> Can we at least have the hollow deck? Oh, man, you go back to the 1920s? Yeah, man. You know, like bootlegger times and stuff? And play around with your friends and shit? I know, Marquis, the aliens have been here. No, 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 this is crazy, though. This guy is actually saying that they're going to engage us. Uh, are we going to... Are, oh, my God. Are, is it the reptilians? The stuff i seen in that dream, I'm just telling you, you don't want it. It's so scary. It looks like the sky's on fire. That's okay? nuts. The sky sets on fire. Do you want to what? see that? That's nuts. You want to see flames in the sky? Dude, dude, we need to stop fighting each other and come together at this time of aliens coming to invade us. <laughs> like space threats. Now, does he mean? Does he mean comets and asteroids? And not aliens. I don't know. You might need comets and asteroids. Maybe. Because Stephen's been talking about that even. Yeah. High threat area when it comes to asteroids. Yeah, we're in a certain part of our space where there's a lot more yeah. being thrown at us. So God is going to chuck that rock like he promised. Ah, dude. You're going to hit the, the foot of the stone. The, the ah, bro. The foot of the statue, bro. This is going to be interesting times, isn't it? It's crazy. District 9 is a great film. Oh, that's a... Look, and I had a lithograph because I won it. I, I actually won something on Twitter, which, like, that doesn't happen. But I I won a lithograph of uh, the the craft in the sky. I, it was a picture, and it was signed by Peter Jackson. It was oh, on my, my God. It was on my wall in, in my meeting. I know. Yeah, you saw it, didn't you? I think you saw it. Oh. I had such cool shit. I know. I'm not thinking about it. Why did we give everything to him? Because he, he was homeless and we're Christians. It is behaving, no wires. Don't start anything, buddy. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like straight flat. I can see the concrete. I'll get my duck after you. Yeah, he's rabid duck. <laughs> you, yeah, you think you gotta wash your hands? I would be like, ew, I would definitely be washing my hands. Like, I would be wearing gloves looking at this place. Yeah, it's pretty it's rough. It's so nasty. I bet they're gonna find, like, Box. rat turds. Maybe. The, he hasn't even gone to the kitchen yet. Nah, I bet there's rat turds in this, man. Might be. He's got in the pocket. He's like, yeah, I'm just going. Gotta <laughs> keep this thing on me, baby. I thought that was me during, you know, COVID. And I was like, ah, I gotta wash my hands and go home. Ugh. Sounds scary. I don't want to uh, get it. Woo, on fire. Who thinks those are? They're already out. But is it, who is this? Like a child back here in the refrigerator? <laughs> but it's a mom brought him to work. You know what I'm saying? He's just hungry. Yeah, he's trying to find something to eat. How old is that stove? 33 years old. But, but like, the kitchen's an old, dilapidated neighborhood, yeah? Oh my God, this is old, man. I like how they, they, they got to light the back burner by, like, spraying the... 
Dude, yeah. this it's, it's called spraying the meat. I bet that that spray is king. They, they're like, you hit it with the spray, it work. You know, <laughs> meat don't taste good. Spray it. Fries don't taste good. Spray it. Uh, I mean, wow. I mean, it's you know maybe maybe it's old or whatever. But like you can get by with like this being old because. It's just a heat source. It's not that big of a deal. Not like you're eating off of it or anything. Now, that, this stuff right here, I don't know if it's like it was painted black and that's peeling off. Or oh, my God. This is, oh, my God. How do people not get sick from this restaurant? You see that? That's what they cook things in. Look how rusty that is. I know. There's just something I want to say about the end time. Yeah. There is. It's been the end time since Jesus ascended. But I, I just want to also say that people at the end will mock people that say that it's coming, just like they mock Noah. So that's for the people that are going, it's the end again and again and again. That's for you. Yeah. Because you're going to mock God right, right to hell. You're going to hell pretty quick if you're thinking that way. I'm telling you, he's given you lots of time to repent. Lots and lots of time. He's been too graceful. I, I'll say that for him okay you can judge me if you want god by saying that but he's been too graceful with the planet so hyper grace hello <laughs> huh. yeah he is isn't he i believe in hyper grace man but he's coming back hi nicola how are you he's coming back jesus is the way to go with all this stuff happening amen mm -hmm. Better believe me. Ugh, here. this is so bad. Rust is non toxic? What the heck? What? It's just like crust is st stuck to it. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Phew. Adds flavor, I guess. And lead, lead poisoning also. <laughs> See, I, I, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's sectioned out like those big popcorn containers you get a uh, Christmas time. Yeah. 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 those. Yeah. What was your favorite one? Which, yeah. which side did you always eat first? Ah, uh, the cheese, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. No, Marquis joke, man. Russ was toxic to Baldwin. <laughs> Baldwin? The shooting at the uh, the movie called Rust. Oh, Rust. Yeah, that, that, was, that was the name of the. I didn't know that was the name of the movie. Oh, we just stop acting like Satan and accusing. Jesus Christ rebuke you. Go away. Always freaking... Yeah, well, Shani did this. What do you do? Harass people online? Good for you. You can go away, too. I don't need drama and you passing around drama and stupid rumors. Yeah, cheese I'm gotta go cheese first. Guy. Yeah, it's like um, I always got the, the three ones. I don't know. I got uh, yeah, like the cheese, like the buttery one, like regular popcorn, and then like. Yeah. I just bought carrots for my bunny. They make him do binkies. Oh my god, that's so cute. I love bunnies. Yes. They're so cute. Can someone help me set up my barbecue? I would if I was there. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, man. What's up, Larry? Exactly. Accusers of the brethren. Accusing day and night without stopping. That's them. It's true. Holy crap, man. That's true. He's infected so many people. Yeah. With that leaven of the Pharisees. I refuse to look at it. I refuse to look at it. It's, it's, it's like all immature people who can't seem to focus on their life. Or narcissist. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Live it. I think the majority are narcissists. Yeah, probably. I think. Thank you, Johnny Up. Fappelstein, he said, appreciate the content today. Keep quacking like the stream, folks. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> the quacking. Uh, oh, the the cracking. The cracking. Yeah, crack the cracking. The quacking. What the hell? That's so fucking weird. <laughs> There's going to be a giant duck appearing in our atmosphere. 
Yes, it's That's... called forgiveness, Cloppy Vaughn. Why don't you learn it instead of keep reminding something that happened a long time ago? Forgiveness is more than saying sorry. More we'll flavor or whatever. That was always yeah. the last one to go, you know. Always. I was, <laughs> shoot. And it would last forever, too. Like, it'd be like next Christmas. You'd be like, oh, I still got some in here. <laughs> well, I'm still good. Wow. Hi, Tangled Bliss. How are you? Still hard. I don't know like, what that stuff was made of, but she was on another level. You are kidding me. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, that is actually <laughs> disgusting. If it's anything ah. like that. Like, oh, no. that's where, that's where, that's where all hey, your, your, thank you, Sandra. Roaches live in there. All the bugs in this thank place are living in that hole right there. <laughs> oh, God. Or at least the clacking. Give them a the meat, you know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> test this, make sure it's good. Mm, <laughs> tastes like a rat. giant duck. Oh, oh my Ooh. God, no. That's, the, that's, that's, that's cook that. it, that's Pam. That's they cook spray, it spray. They spray their steaks in, spa in Pam? Yeah. I mean, okay, it is cooking oil. Yeah, but... Why? Yeah. Why, why do they do that? Ew. My question is why. No. The, oh, God, you get the taste of the... Like, that spray has, like, a certain aftertaste. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's not pleasant. No. At all. It's not good at all. Use butter and, and olive oil. Yeah, if you're going to put... Ah, uh, no. Steak, it's butter. Uh, butter or olive oil, something. Ah, oh, God, not that. Ew. Yeah, see, the audience is saying I use butter nasty, right? No, butter is awesome. My awesome. vaporizer for my butter died last night. Oh, no, Marquis. That is, that's, that's just wrong. That's terrible. Spray, oh, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just like the butter or whatever, even non-stick stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, that, well, he, he's about to freak out on him, like, whoa! What's that right? And for him, so it doesn't stick. I can't trust it. Wow. Oh, oh, my God, no. Hey, how much does that go in your day? God dang. That's a big piece of meat, too, by the way. I just noticed how big <laughs> That's a huge piece of meat. <laughs> Man, all right. My mother's definitely lost her high standards over the last... 15, 20 years. <laughs> you know, she used to have standards, but after working in this place and the shoes <laughs> up under the, the seats and the, the trash, now she's done with it. She's just like, <laughs> hit it with the, <laughs> here, she's got her can of spray right here. She's ready to go. Spray oh, baby damn it, Ah! Uh, wow. That one in the back is well done. Ooh, that hurts my teeth just looking at it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, they're spray painting meat with Pam spray. It's so gross. It's like, no, you're supposed to be a restaurant. This is like, this is something those TikTokers do to us to get a cringe video. Yeah. That's true. Ah. Uh, there's chefs must have problems with the steak sticking to the grill. Probably because their grill is from like 1942 and they haven't cleaned it since then. Probably. Ah. Uh, Oh, goodness. Wow. Ooh. Kind of work. Oh. Jerry, it doesn't make sense. Bruh. It's all, it's all coming together for me now. I, I know what this place is. She, she's been working here for a long time. Invested some money into it. She yeah. goes in and gets the job done, and that, that's it. <laughs> that's all she needs to do now. That might be like, it. Well, we got this. Put it over there. I'll use. I'll need it later at some point, 20 years later. What is that? What? Oh, what is that? Uh -huh. what is Extra stuff. Jesus. The board is on. Like a vacuum cleaner there. She probably break that vacuum cleaner out and use it. Yeah. She should use the shop vac. Lights are decker. awesome. They're, they're real good, yeah. Ah. Uh, Some old stuff, man. That's awful, Marquis. Oof. Don't huff. It's stupid. Yeah. Ask Steve-O. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, yeah for real. Cool. I just, like, barely let it play, but he's like, this is old equipment. He's like, what? I'm hybrid. He's indica. Yeah. 
I said, here. <laughs> Get rid of it. We got a spare couch in there. What's it here for? Parts once in a while. So what parts do <laughs> you take from a 1950s ice machine? Legs. Legs. <laughs> Guys, dude, he's doing his best. I mean, he's got some wheels on it, you know. Uh, yeah, screws. <laughs> yeah, maybe some screws. Of, no, no. You never know, you know. We like to, we keep a you never know policy around here. We want to keep it just in case. Uh, mess. It's like you're hoarding stuff. Thank you, thank you. Obviously, that's, that's, that's a hoarding situation. But don't smoke, <laughs> all right? Do not smoke that's back here. No. no smoking. No. From these times. It'll probably explode <laughs> if you do, because who knows who's back here. I don't really think that I'm a hoarder. It's just hard for me to throw things away. Oh, uh, that's a hoarder. Uh, that's a hoarder. That's the definition of hoarding. That's the definition of hoarding, yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's right? Not, it's not that bad, right? It's not that bad. It's gross. The place isn't pretty disgusting, though. It's trying to do it needs a good vacuum. Oh, crush the monster. Well, he heard that. That's what he hears? Is the freaking the, the dead rat that he's grabbing the hand? Yeah, it's a dead rat. <laughs> the the friends back there dying. He's just like... <laughs> 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 Next to cleaning equipment. How long has that been there? Ah! Oh. Well, judging from the body, I would say, uh, about a week ago, it hadn't decomposed yet. It's not in there yesterday. So it died yeah. four hours this morning. That dry? It's a fucking dry ass fucking mouse! Yep, that's right. That's correct. That is a dead dry ass mouse! I told you there was gonna be rat turds everywhere in the kitchen! Yeah. Oh my god! It's rough. It's really rough. Uh, it's pretty dry. <laughs> you know. yeah, I went there this morning. I didn't notice it. That died a lot longer. Welcome back, sweetness. 24 hours ago. Okay. Well, uh, what was the... What was the... the meh, what is this? Okay, what is that? <laughs> and it's... <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> what is Gordon must have went into the toilet back there. He's no, like, we didn't get a pizza. Nothing came. Uh, I heard something great. You heard something? I heard something. All right. I don't think it's that. Well, I'm still waiting on that YouTube envelope, too. Can yeah. you check for that? Well, it's Sunday. It could come. Ah, so nothing. No, nothing. All right, hon. Like, oh, what is this? <laughs> I need to wash my head. Uh. <laughs> we didn't even get to the ball in this clip, dude. Yeah. What? He was like, mm-mm, 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 m
person right there. Yeah, that's good. They know the me well. Yes, they do. Little Hi, baby. Baby. Little baby. She looks like she's had babies. You can tell. That's false. You you could tell. You see how this part is kind of hanging. Yeah. I bet she just had babies. Probably. I know cats like the back of my hand, man. Well. I raise them and everything, man. I would be great at like getting this specialized cat and then selling them. Because yeah. I just know so much about cats, man. I know. You want to go live with me and my man, Larry? I mean... Nope. No, no guys apply for that. Only girls, sorry. You got the wrong genitalia. Yeah, that's correct. I apologize. And mentality. I don't want another guy involved. I guess so. Yeah. Did you know Attila the Hunt died of esophageal ruptures due to excessive drinking? No, I didn't, wow. Todd. Yeah, I, I thought he died. I thought he died by a woman killing him. I don't remember. I gotta look more into that. I can solve the death literally. So cute. Right. Oh, what a pretty baby. <laughs> little baby. Green eyes. So pretty. No, she feels safe. You are in good hands, cat. Aww. Meow mix. Enjoy your food. Uh oh. Mm. Uh oh. We have a problem, folks. Is that us? No. It's not. I don't know what it is. Hmm. What the heck? What the heck? Experience information. Yeah, I am. I know. Sorry, guys. I apologize. What the frick? YouTube is having problems, yo's. It's definite, like, okay. What? I don't know. I'm still getting, like, it still says here we're fine on our KBS. Yeah. And people, I still see that going. Right. Oh, 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 I think we fixed it. Had a hiccup. Yeah, there was just a hiccup. Let's go back to the cat. Eden. Yeah. We're just watching the cat eat. You are in good hands, cat. You a baby. Right? Enjoy your food. Yes, enjoy the foods. Enjoy your food. Your key cat. Well, we can still hear what you both. That's what matters. Yeah, that's true. She's too hungry. <laughs> Of course, she just had kittens. I can tell by her stomach. You want to go on the show I'm doing right now? Aw, that's sweet. Thank you. Interesting. That's the way they do it. Yeah, man. Like, you got to think. Some Christians are really spoiled because we got, like, pews to sit in. I mean, I know there's this like, this guy right here, and he has a chair mm -hmm. to sit in, but it's probably because he has, like, knee problems. Maybe. Or something like that. Yeah. They're very, mm -hmm. I've noticed, 
if you have like a medical problem, they're very like, we're not going to have you do this because of that. That's they cool. understand. That's so beautiful, though. I like that. And you don't see the pastor preaching or anything. Like, it's not like, it, it's kind of like they do it in a way where it's like hidden in a way where it's like they're not putting a person as the focus. It's yeah. more the message. Yeah. And I like that compared to Christianity where it's like people pretty much like, I've noticed this, worship the pastor. You know what I mean? Sometimes. Yeah. I like that about Islam. Kind of like the Quakers, and shout out to all the my M Muslim brothers and sisters. Yes, a happy Eid. Um, I just find this so interesting how they do it. Yeah, I can see you're fine. So you're getting an interest in Islam for some reason. I always have been. That's news to me. I mean. the hands of supplication yes what exactly does the hands of supplication mean? it means I'm open to you Lord humbly and what does that show you like being a Christian yeah we don't at... have to do that in church we could do anything we want with our hands but they're very strict they're they're showing that they're open to God's voice amen it's pretty cool yeah it is isn't it yeah it, I, real Islam, the actual Islam, is very beautiful. It is. It is. But I endorse, and I I don't want to make a take that I endorse Islam, because uh, to be honest with you, I don't know enough about their tenets to endorse it. But they have started calling Jesus Messiah. So who am I to challenge anything about them now? They're saying Jesus is Messiah. <laughs> That's true. So they're my brothers. Yeah. That's as simple as it gets. Seed of Abraham, baby. The seed of Abraham. Absolutely. The, they are absolutely the first vines that were cut off. Amen. And now they're they're in the fold. Yep. They're going to be first, and the Jews are last, man. They're going to be... The Jews are in heaven, just 100%. There's going to be so many people in heaven, and it's going to be so amazing, and... We, we, we don't have that, like, anger in us or anything. and we just want, Yeah, all we want to do is, like, heaven's going to be, like, you just want to talk to people, get to know them, their ideas, what they know and stuff. Mm -hmm. It'll just be a whole eternity of knowing stuff. Yeah. And getting to learn how to know stuff, man. Yeah. There are some Messianic Muslims, yes, but not many. There's plenty of it being said, Tangle Bliss. It's happening. Eat Kuwait, 30 degrees Celsius. I hear Islam teaching he's Messiah now. Yep. That's what I hear. I hear that, so. It's so beautiful. She's loving it there. Yeah, that's good. That's awesome. She is. Are there trees in heaven? Oh, yeah. It's trees, dirt, grass, butterflies, cats, dogs, all mm. of it. Mm. All of God's creation is in heaven. It's just another dimension. Yeah, man. It 
and also it's not just God's creation there, it's what we created is there too in a I lot believe, of ways. I believe it. You know? Cars and stuff. Because people love cars. Yeah, I believe it. It's awesome. Oh, I would love to drive through that and see that. I love driving through Flatland. Yeah, you do. That would be very entertaining for you. Yes, <laughs> I love driving through Flatland. But you know what's really funny is you kind of get nervous driving through Colorado around like the sand dunes and stuff. It's like the land is so vast and you feel so small in yeah. this vastness of this land, right? Yeah. And I don't know why it gives me anxiety, but it's like this stuff is dangerous. Well, I ate that up. Like, I remember driving uh, around the gun barrel type area yeah. in, in that entire area, and it's so flat. Other than the mountains in the distance, everything is so flat. You can see for miles, and it almost makes you want to drive like 90. Oh my god! Like, it's so nice. Yeah, this def this the flat definitely want to drive ninety on. Yeah, that. it makes you want to. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I love it. Me too. Oh, I love to drive. I love driving. I wish we could set this YouTube and just do road trips and It'd be great. Yeah. I I would love to do that with my YouTube channel. That would be awesome. It's just road trips. Yeah. Hi guys. So we're here visiting. Salah's mom at the graveyard Aww. and as you can see it's tradition on Eid to visit the deceased relatives so there was quite All she right. did exactly what I did with you yeah you did I went to your mom's grave with you Maybe. that's love that is love that is love I feel for him now yeah he man. lost his mommy he did but at least he gets to see her there mm-hmm you know, that's beautiful. He loves his mama. He loves his mama. Wait a line up to even get in the cemetery. There's a line to get in the cemetery wow. during Eid. Wow. That shows how much they are. That's, oh my God. Americans don't do this stuff. No, we go to the graveyard maybe for Memorial Day. And, well... Memorial Day. I think it's absolutely beautiful how certain cultures honor their dead. Yeah. Like the Day of the Dead, I love that holiday. Mm -hmm. Because of how they just look at their ancestors and just like, thank you for this. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. I'm so sorry for you. Aw, oh, Nicole. Oh, her fiance's mom passed away the other day. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Sorry. I love how they honor their, their loved ones, though. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. How does a graveyard look? Is it see. similar to ours? We're going to see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But they're more like upper from the ground. Yeah, not, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not sunk in six feet. Yeah. More on the surface. Yeah. And the gravestones are kind of different, though, too. Kind of. Yeah. But it's similar. Yeah. Thank you for sh Someone give this to Foodie. I just want to tell her thank you for showing this part of um, Islamic culture. I really very much like seeing how other people live in other cultures and stuff. So to me, this is fascinating. Maybe this isn't everyone's cup of tea, but I really do enjoy this content. Yeah, you're like kind of an anthropologist at heart. I am very <laughs> much. You are. Sandra Zego said, We fast and bless our loved ones so they reach the next level. 
May Allah forgive their sins and guide them to paradise. Amen. That's beautiful. Yeah. I visited my mom's resting place anytime I go back to the state. Also, there's no rule saying you can't visit loved ones as much as you want. That's true. That's true. I'd like to see Jason's mom again. Yeah. I love that. Where she's buried is so beautiful. It's peaceful. Yeah. And she can, when, yeah. when, the, when the bells, the church bells go off, she can hear them up there. Exactly. Yeah. It's so beautiful. She loved those church bells. I love those church bells. Yeah. I love church bells. Beautiful. You just hear the the birds and then the church bells and the birds get really quiet because they want to hear the bells. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards the birds explode and sing in because mm -hmm. they want more of the church bells. It's so beautiful. Yeah. It's a perfect place to just grow up. It really is. It is. I love this place. Yeah. I'm glad you do. Wow. Some of them are like really small on the ground. Mm -hmm. They look unmarked. It's very small. Could body. they be unmarked bodies uh, from I the wars? Uh, maybe. Because he's Syrian. Right. You know? Yeah. Do you guys want to be buried or cremated? Yeah. My idea is I want to be cremated and I want my my ashes to be spread on the cherry tree. It's what the Buddhists do. Mm. But I think it's such a beautiful idea. Mm. You know? Mm. What about you? Oh, I never thought about it, to be honest with you. Uh, you could join me in the cherry tree. It would be forever wed. That's beautiful. We have to have a stable place of residence for it before we can think of something like that. But That's right. Uh, I've never thought about it, and I don't, I, I don't know what I'd say off the top of my head. I don't know. Oh, I, think I, I want forever that. with you, though. Yeah, me too. I want to. I want to. I want to go to heaven with you and like join eternity with you, and we just do a bunch of stuff yeah. together because it's fun. It's like me, my mom and dad are doing. Yeah, man. Same thing. Yeah, man. I just want to be with you. You're gonna, because yeah. you want to. You're gonna be, and I feel the same. So it's gonna happen. Yeah, man. We're just we're just best friends. Yeah, and we'll be doing road trips together and having right? this. Twin spirits. That's me and Jason. Twin yeah. spirits. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's a beautiful thing what we have. Soulmates. Amen. Totally. We will always have a connection with each other. Yep. Yeah, it's past time. Yeah. It's definitely past time. In space. That's correct. It's beautiful. Be careful, baby. Don't step on the grave uh, before this harm. You know, it's uh, showing respect for the dead. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sorry, baby. My mom is great over there. Mama. We have three sources outside of the Come here, baby. The hands of sea. Hands of supplication. They wipe their face? What is with that wipe in your face? That I'm not familiar with. Wow, I wish it could be explained why they wipe their face like that. That's interesting. You guarantee it's a reason. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I would, can't comment on that because I'm not aware. I don't know. 
Oh, Nicole, I'm still grieving over my aunt who was like a mom three years later. It's like a huge part of my heart gone. So hard to be the same once you lose someone so near and dear to your heart. That's true. That's so true, Nicole. Once you lose that loved one who you loved more than anything, it just breaks your heart. Yeah, true. But you gotta keep moving forward, but maybe the things you've learned through grieving, you could teach your uh, fiance uh, how to grieve in a little way. The things that helped you and comfort you during that time. Because that's what Jason does for me, because I just lost my parents. So, Jason, the things he learned from losing his mom and dad, he pretty much gives it to me, and it gives me comfort. Just, just love your loved ones when they're here. Yeah. She is really short. She's like a little potato. It's adorable. She's like five feet tall. Yeah, she's a little girl. Which means he's like 5'9". Yeah, he's not that tall. No, he's not at all. He's like my height. You don't cope very well. Well, there's techniques you can learn to cope with. Like, um, just Google coping techniques and try to do it. It helps. Yeah. No, she's not tall. She's a little one. So baby, how old were you about whenever um, your mother passed away? My mom died 15 years ago. Uh, I was like 15 years old. Wow. Oh my god. So last 30? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's a little younger than her. But he lost his mom. That's like 15. William and Zachary losing me right, right now. Yeah. It would kill them. Like, William was so excited when he found out I didn't have cancer. So relieved. He was like, yay, you can find, you can grow older with us. Yeah. Yeah. I just, you know, I wouldn't mind having my kids in my home forever. I don't care. Like, I just, I love my son so much. And they're so fun to hang out with. They're just great guys. Yeah, I have an appointment going to go to mental health. First time in my life going to therapy. It's good though. I'm in therapy. I'm in therapy. I had a therapy appointment today that I almost forgot, but thank God she gives me reminders because she knows I have memory problems. Mm -hmm. um, but what... The therapy I'm doing is like she's going to be working out a lot of trauma in my life. So, she, I bet your therapist can do the same for you. After my daughter passed, my other kids, eight, two step, six bio, and my guide, have talked more about final arrangements. Oh, God bless you, Tangle Bliss. Yeah. Oh, bless. God, so much loss. I'm almost 5'11". May she rest in peace, Not baby. Not quite. Amen. Well, it's time to say goodbye for my mom. She really loves him. You see how her heart's on her chest like that? Like, mm -hmm. her heart broke for him. Oh. Oh my god, that's almost like not the inshallah, but that was basically what I said to your mom. Mm -hmm. Oh my god.
-hmm. I said that too. I'll take care of your son. Yeah. And she said it. That's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Love that man, Foodie, and love him more than you've ever loved a man. Mm -hmm. Same to you, Salah. Love that woman and love her more than you've ever loved any woman. Because she really does love you. Don't hurt her. She's been so hurt. So sweet, babe. Okay, guys. Thanks for being here. Be careful the grave, Dave. She is. She can barely fit between them, but she's doing it, man. God bless her. I would, I, I'm always very careful around graves not to step on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing of respect. Mm hmm. Yeah, be careful, honey. Beautiful. I find when I get into depressions, I want to hide from the world and my anxiety is so bad in public crowds. I recently went to Halifax. The city was so beautiful, forced myself. Oh, bless you. Therapy's going to help you get through this, honey. You'll find new ways how to figure out all that shit and all that trauma. I believe in you. Yeah. Building where bodies were washed for burial. Oh, okay. Beautiful mosque. Awesome. God, that's gorgeous. The sky looks different there. A little bit. Wow. They have the moon on top. Crescent That's moon. yeah. What's up with the crescent moon in Islam? Is there like it's their symbol? I know it's their symbol, but there's got to be a reason why that's their symbol. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> You'll be okay. It's, I think therapy is the best thing. I think more people need to go. If they're feeling low or they're hurting people or, you know, they've gone through crap, it helps. Nick P says the Fertile Crescent. That makes sense. Yeah, that would make sense. I thought it was something astrological, but yeah, it, that, makes, yeah. that makes sense, the Fertile Crescent. That does make sense. Life. It's a symbol of life. So after the graveyard, oh. we came home and had a Eve breakfast. Some traditional oh. foods here that are eaten. Uh, on Eid morning. So we have some pineapple and orange juice. I love pineapple orange juice. That's good. Ah, oh, gives you heartburn though. Yeah, it does. But it's good. Oh. Pineapple banana orange juice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a couple mm. of fresh pears. 
And can you guess which one is my glass? <laughs> the one with lots of ice, of course. Yes, you know I love my ice. And also we have a bunch of fresh bread. The leftovers, of course, go back in the freezer so that it stays fresh. And we have some falafel, some fresh, Yum. delicious falafel. My favorite. <laughs> So we have a bunch of those. We had a bag with some extra ones as well. You get 25 of them for one KD. And we have here is a mixture of hummus and fool. Fool is uh, fava beans as well, which is a very big breakfast Ooh. staple here in the uh, Middle East. They eat hummus and beans for breakfast. Hmm. How do they not fart all day? <laughs> Like, I just had a can of chili and I was like farting for days, man. Yeah. I don't know. Nah, I can't eat that food. That would make me fart all the time. I mean, I see some fresh figs. And in Kuwait here, we have that often for breakfast. And we have some um, makdus, which is the stuffed and pickled eggplant. No, oh, that's, just... that's eggplant? Wow. That's not figs? Oh, it's eggplant. And then cheese. Stuffed and pickled. Huh. That's I wonder how that would be. I have no idea. That's interesting. Square cream cheese spread as well. So the idea here is, as you can see, Sela and I doing. Oh, and there's also olive oil and fresh lemon juice and herbs sprinkled on top like coriander and parsley so you take the falafel and also the uh, fresh bread as well and you dip it inside of the full and um, hummus mixture oh it's really very green falafel oh it's full of herbs that's why oh that's a beautiful looking falafel oh i've never had a falafel that looks like that ever it's because when mm. most Middle Easterns have a very herby falafel. Yeah. That's it's obvious, it's obvious. It's very herby. Yeah. Delicious. Yum. Bismillah. Another traditional treat you see at Eid, apparently, is called mamul. And mm -hmm. it's like little, if you guys ever had like um date squares it's like little date cookies okay. so it's like okay so it's like fig newtons but with dates yeah date newtons. i'd be down with that yeah i love dates i love dates delicious oh i wish we had dates yeah. we got raisins mm -hmm. so yeah <laughs> what if we take some raisins and put it on vanilla ice cream mm. wonder if that pizza's ever gonna come no 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 cookie and then the middle is like a date and they're soft and they're actually really really tasty especially to eat with tea and coffee hey mom how are you too happy eat the baby oh and here i have something for you we call it the idea a small gift for it something traditional you know nice all right, let's go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> and this also a tradition I eat sweet called mamul. Mamul. Yum. It inside. Exactly. We call it tamar. Tamar. I would be down with that. Yeah, date cookie, definitely. Yummy. Yeah, man. Yummy. Happy Eid for you guys. Happy Eid, guys. Happy Eid. All right. All right. That was interesting. Yeah. Then I found this, and I was like, what? "We have to. We have to see this." Are you kidding me? Teacher gets revenge by taking a dump on a student's essay. That's, uh... I've never heard of something like this before. You can get fired. Right? Yeah. Well, taking a dump on meaning they just trash it like it's a horrible essay? Is that what he means? Or it literally takes a dump on it? I, I don't know. Maybe literally taking a dump? Oh my god. That's fireable, definitely. 
you're going to get fired. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Dane, if someone handed you something and said that this was pooed on, uh -oh. would you taste it? And I think I'm going to have to end my stream there because my computer has officially been like, hey, I'm tired. Hey, I'm tired, bro. I'm going to take a little quick break and then we will be back. I have to put my computer to sleep. You hear that? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be back soon. <laughs> Give it a little cool off time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's always something with me. I can't do it when I want to do it. We'll find out about the teacher and the dump and shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 